I failed so many times, it makes my stomach hurt. Like, do you know how many days I walked to the courts and was like, today's gonna be the day. I'm gonna dunk a basketball today. And after hour three of just clamming the ball to the rim and then going home and trying to go to sleep and think, is it worth it? Am I ever gonna dunk a basketball? Like, maybe this is it. But that wasn't enough. Because on paper, I used to look like I, I, didn't, I wasn't even on the team. 5'5", five, five, 117 pounds. I didn't want people to count me out because how tall I was. I didn't have really any real role models that was my height. So that was like the hardest thing for me is I, never, I didn't see anybody who was like me that could do it. Now I got my first dunk, an accident. The ball bounced off the rim and I caught it and put it back in and grabbed the rim. And guess what, I didn't dunk for three more weeks after that. But I still did it. And then I saw an article about a Russian powerlifting team and there was a fat Russian celebrating after a powerlifting event. And he was celebrating, but he was like three or four feet off the ground. So I started researching Russian powerlifting and like all the stuff that they did, like as far as like explosion training, like that summer from my sophomore year to my junior year, I gained about 25 pounds of muscle. I put 18 and a half inches on my vertical leap. And people always say, well, why do you work out so hard? I'm like, how many people do you know that's 5'5 five, five dunking? That's what it took. So I, that's the only style of training that I know because it's not normal to jump that high off the ground and take a basketball with you and then land safely. It's not normal. It's not something that everybody in the world is doing. I had to do so much ridiculous training and hours and hours of running, jumping, and lifting and throwing stuff just to put a little basketball inside of a cylinder that's 10 feet off the ground. And it's still worth two points. I'm willing to put myself through all this pain and anguish for that one moment to say, I can do it. Everybody fails. The only way to get to succeeding is failing. You have to learn how to succeed. It's just that simple. It's not easy. Just because a road you choose doesn't have pavement on it doesn't mean you need to walk down it. And that's what I love about my journey right now is that my story's getting out in a sense of kids are gonna realize that, hey, he was 5'5", five, five, and he was first team all Ohio, and went on to do great things in basketball being that small. So I can do it too. Anything's possible, like anything. I'm just a small town kid from Ohio. My grandfather and my mother they used to always tell me, work hard, work hard, work hard. You know, you're like, yeah, okay, but nothing's happening. And then, boom, it's possible. I train this way because I want kids to realize that just because you're small, just because you're not from a big city, you can still do it. You can still live out your dream. You can still dunk a basketball. You can still be the best player on your team if you want to. I always tell people, like, just because you see somebody who's small, don't count them out. And I think that's so cool is that I have the chance to tell that kid who's in Iowa right now, sitting in front of his computer watching a YouTube channel, and he finds my video, and he finds out that I'm a state height as him, and for one split second, he may think, I can do it. And that's enough. Brandon Todd hits for a career high, 42 points, 10 three-pointers, and the Bobcats stop shooting sectional move on to the sectional final.